If your vehicle's engine RPM is fluctuating while you're idling in the park, I want to walk you through some possible causes and how you can address them. First, when you notice this happening, the best thing to do is to scan the onboard computer for any error codes. This process is quite simple. Every vehicle made after 1996 has an OBD2 port located under the driver's side dashboard. All you need to do is plug in an OBD2 scan tool, which will help you identify what's causing the engine issues. You can find low-cost OBD2 scan tools, typically around $20-$30. Alternatively, many automotive stores offer free scanning services. It's a good idea to call ahead to confirm this. Scanning the onboard computer is the first step, as it can direct you to the exact problem with the engine. As for common causes of fluctuating RPMs, they could include a dirty throttle body, a faulty idle air control valve, a malfunctioning throttle position sensor, or even a vacuum leak. The first thing you should check is the throttle body, which is where all the air enters the engine. After removing the air intake hose, you'll see a butterfly valve inside the throttle body. When this area gets dirty, it can often cause issues with idling. Since this is a common problem, it's a good idea to start here. Simply take off the air intake hose and inspect the butterfly valve and the interior of the throttle body. If you notice dirt buildup, you can clean it using a throttle body and air intake cleaner, along with a small brush like a toothbrush. You can also remove the throttle body for a more thorough cleaning, which is generally more effective, but cleaning it while still attached can work too. So, your first step should be to check the throttle body, clean it if it's dirty, and see if that resolves the issue. Next, you should inspect the idle air control valve, located on the side of the throttle body. This valve helps regulate idle speed, so it's important to make sure it's functioning properly. Check the wiring as well. On some vehicles, you can test the idle air control valve by unplugging the wiring harness to see if the idle stabilizes. If the erratic idling stops, it's a sign that there may be an issue with the idle air control valve. There are other methods to test it, but your next step should be to examine the idle air control valve and its wiring. The next component to check is the throttle position sensor. While issues with the throttle position sensor typically cause symptoms like lagging when you accelerate, it can occasionally affect idle speed on some vehicles. The throttle position sensor is located on the side of the throttle body, so it's worth inspecting. Also, don't forget to check the wiring, as faulty wiring can lead to problems. Another common issue that might cause fluctuating RPMs is a vacuum leak in the air intake system. Go around and inspect all the hoses and connections for any signs of a leak. There are different methods to detect a vacuum leak. One popular technique is to use a smoke machine. You feed smoke into the air intake, and wherever the smoke escapes, you've found the leak. Another method some mechanics use involves spraying a liquid around areas where they suspect a vacuum leak while the engine is running. If the idle changes when you spray a specific area, you've likely found the leak. Don't forget to check the intake manifold gasket as part of your search for a vacuum leak. So, that's the basic rundown. I wanted to make a quick guide on the potential causes of engine RPMs revving up and down while idling in the park. If you have any additional tips, feel free to comment below. If this video was helpful, please click like, subscribe, and have a great day.